blown fuse back at the chicken plant. Let's see what it is. Now, before we start putting the little popper on and so on and so forth, let's take a look here. See if we have any rub outs. First thing we're actually going to do is kill the power, however the hell you do that here. Check to make sure we are in fact dead. And we are. Had a rash of shorted contactors lately. That would be pretty weird if I had another one, but we're gonna own this contactor out real quick. check for any rub outs first and then we'll put the little popper on and see what's going on all right so we do have look at this right here i could see that being a rub out let's just take a look we're gonna cut this zip tie looks like somebody put that zip tie there to prevent a rub out and they may be adversely causing one without damaging anything. So these two red wires, and we have a yellow and a black that make up our pressure switches. They are definitely pinched, but they don't look like they're down to bare. There also. It is pinched a little, but not down to bare wire. Which is black one. Okay, so this guy right here. So kind of more of the same. And then we got our reversing valve here. Just about all but three of these wires, which go to the compressor, are low voltage. All right, nothing jumping out at me straight away. So let's get the little popper hooked up. All right, little popper hooked up. Reset. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay. So we'll put 
put it right here as we work through these wires. No idea if the thermostat's calling or not. But we're going to go R right there to Y real quick and see what happens. Okay. It came on. Pretty sure it's on. Yeah, the compressor's on, the fan's not starting. Up oh, there it goes. Might have a might have something else going on there. Now let's take that back off. Let's go reverse and valve. Alright, nothing there. What pulled in? our contact there's something pulled in just then let's try G well this is pretty work this is pretty work it's not tripping there's some oil or something here it's been leaking Try W or W here. See what happens. I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. Something with our electric heat. Check it out. So I'm about to jump Y right now. Yep. I don't know if it's that relay trying to click or what it is. Let me kill power. It's weird, they, no they only noticed it when they went to turn the air conditioning on. That's weird. Is that even the electric heat relay? What is, this looks like the fan relay. Unless that sent the fan relay into chaos once I applied that. check voltage here because I think I might have jumped G to W and that's when I got mayhem so let's see here common to R got it nothing to W right now and I have G fairly certain that looks like my fan relay. I could be wrong. Okay, that definitely, that relay's pulled in right now. So I'm thinking when I jumped out W, it's, and my low voltage amperage spiked it kind of sent everything into a frenzy so we do have because that'll happen sometimes when you, you'll have a thermostat let me shut the power off you'll have a thermostat with uh, with a time delay and every time it shorts out it will send that thermostat into a frenzy and reset it and it'll just keep on flashing cool on the Honeywell Pro 5000 is famous for that. Okay, I think this is probably our problem here. This contactor, quite frankly, looks beat to hell. But it's, um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think I smell it too. Let me pull. 
pull this off here. Pull this. power sources come from my one disconnect. That's weird. We'll pull this too. And we'll check. We'll jump W again. Alright, let's try it now. We're not in a frenzy anymore. Check to make sure we got W. Or we have power down here. This thing's all messed up. It's missing screws, all kinds of shit. Let's see if we can. Got stuff pulling in. We have 26 volts there now. And it's not going haywire. Let's check. Let me turn the power off again. So let's check the ohms on this contact. Pretty sure that's what it's gonna be. This contact is, is burnt up. Between here, here. Yeah, 0.8. Notice up top, same two pole 24 volt contactor. We had 12 ohms. This one, way different. So let's grab a two pole off the truck. We'll get this swapped out. All right, new contactor in. Very nice. Here's our old one. Yes, he's definitely burnt up. Yeah, that was definitely our problem. Into the trash. Let's get this thing fired up. All right, we're drawing one amp now. I do have W jumped out. Let's make sure we got amp draw. 40 amps, very nice. All right, I think we fixed this one, guys. Get a get the correct fuse in there, and we'll be good to go.